Hello. So how to get more women into tech? Mentorship programs, sensitivity training for VCs, Ruby on Rails Barbie. Oh. I have a solution that could increase the number of women in tech dramatically. And there's no conferences, there's no membership. Anyone can do it, especially women. And it will allow them to be bolder and gain greater appreciation for the work that they do. My solution? If you want to be respected in tech as a woman, don't call yourself a girl. See, if we start referring to all the women in tech as women, we'll have a lot more women when we get rid of the girls. And when I say women, I mean people who have menstruated and paid taxes. If you do both, you're a woman. It's pretty simple. Calling yourself a girl may be cute and fun, but it's hurtful to making tech a better and more comfortable place for women. And I am not the only person who feels like this. There are many people out there only steps away from self-immolation. It is time to take action. But this is actually a pretty serious topic because words are incredibly powerful. They reinforce and reflect societal power structures. Words can be as powerful a protest as actions can be. Because at the end of the day, it's about power. When people refer to someone who's an adult woman as a girl, it implies authority on the part of the speaker. Girl is a diminutive. So let's think about the word boy when we refer to adult men. Boys and their toys, boys club. It's always said with more than a hint of condescension. Boys are immature, they're, they're not to be trusted. You don't want an organization filled with boys. So what about girls? Well, they can't drive, they can't join the army, they can't vote, and girls probably shouldn't. But most of all, girls aren't threatening. And appropriating the word girl for an adult woman just doesn't really make sense, to me at least, because it's not confronting sexism or inverting any power structures. It's just using the word girl for someone who's old. And why do we have such a problem with being old? I am very happy to be out of high school, as I'm sure most of the people in this room are. And I look forward to the time when I'll have the, enough wisdom to be able to finish the New York Times crossword on a Friday in one sitting. Research shows that a lot of women sabotage themselves in the workplace by starting sentences with things like, I may not be an expert. They're trying not to appear cocky, but what they're doing is they're undermining their own authority, and they're making people take them less seriously. It's like a disclaimer. Calling yourself a girl in the workplace is the same thing. It diminishes you. And to some people, it can be interpreted like a Freudian slip revealing, I'm not totally sure I should be here. So in your spare time, sure, going out with the gals, whatever you want to refer to yourself. But in the workplace, geek girls? Women engineers aren't some kind of mythical superhero for people to fantasize about. The fact is that being a woman should not have to be sugar-coated. You're a woman, just like you're a product manager or a coder. Take charge of what you do and don't apologize. You may know the words to every single Sarah McLaughlin song ever written, or you may swear like a sailor, but you're a woman, and you shouldn't have to apologize for that. You define the woman that you are, and if you're uncomfortable calling yourself a woman, ask yourself why, because it's about taking your work and yourself seriously. Does calling yourself a girl say you're here to take charge and kick ass and take names? Does it say you're here to lead? And for all the men in the audience, you can help us out by calling us women. There are not a lot of us in tech. <laughs> and just because a woman calls herself a girl in the workplace doesn't mean that you can. She may not feel comfortable in the environment. So, no, I don't actually have a solution that will actually increase the number of females in tech instantly. My solution is to increase the number of women. It's not the answer, but it's one small and important change that all of us can make to make tech a better place for the tax-paying menstruators among us. So I'll leave you with this. If Brittany could figure out that she's not a girl anymore, why can't women in tech? Thank you.
Thanks, Caroline.